band is northbound, probably in the northbound, I mean the southbound lane. Don't see anything like that. Uh-uh. Yeah, I didn't see any white van other than ours. <laughs> and we got a report of one going northbound, southbound lane. Northbound and the southbound lane. Yeah, oh, wow. Well, that was not us. That was not us. <laughs> you didn't observe that with us, over. Yeah. Legally pulled us over. But I'm looking for a white van you could have changed over. But you can't just pull us over because you suspect us as being a white man. What's going on, guys? This is totally product news. This video comes to us from a channel called News Now Abilene. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And... It's filmed in a county in Texas called Haskell County. Now, the top cop in Haskell County is the sheriff. And that's just the person who's pulling them over. That's right. He has no boss. He is the sheriff elected in Haskell County. So he definitely knows what he's doing. Anyways, go on over to News Now Abilene. Subscribe. Tell them the Sodaly Product News sent you. But first, cue the music. Your own niche. Not, I'm not saying don't be influenced. I'm highly influenced by everybody that I watch. Lackluster, DPN, uh, Disorderly Product News, James Freeman. Good morning. Good morning. Looking for a white van that's northbound, probably in the northbound, I mean the southbound lane. Don't see anything like that. Uh-uh. Those days reported about the roadside park northbound. Where from? Stanford? Hmm. Well, we just came from Holly. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't see any white van other than ours. <laughs> and we got a report of one going northbound, southbound lane. Northbound and the southbound lane. Yeah, oh, wow. Well, that was not us. That was not us. <laughs> you didn't observe that with us, did you? <laughs> we all hit it. Well, I'm sure curious why you pulled us over. Looking for a white van. Going well, you northbound. found a white van. Yeah. But we weren't in the we weren't in the southbound lane going northbound. I understand that. So I'm still I'm curious why you pulled us over. Yeah. Legally pulled us over. But I'm looking for a white van. You could have changed over. Yeah, but you can't just pull us over because you suspect us as being a white Make man. Make sure that it wasn't y'all. All right. Well, it wasn't us. So if you have any other yeah. reason to believe it was us, you can continue. Otherwise, we'd like to be on our way. I still like to see an ID. I don't think legally... Well, legally I can. well this is an easy enough uh, dispute to settle. It's just a Google search away. Let's see what it says. The failure to identify crime in the state of Texas requires you to provide police officers your name and certain other identifying information when you have been arrested. It also gives police the right to arrest you if they have lawfully arrested or detained you or if you are a witness to a crime and you give a fake name to the officer. A. A person commits an offense if they intentionally refuse to give his name, residence, address, or date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested the person and requested the information. B. A person commits an offense if he intentionally gives a false or fictitious name, residence, address, or date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested the person, lawfully detained the person, or requested the information from a person that the peace officer has good cause to believe is a witness to a criminal act. So what that says is you don't have to give ID unless you're arrested. But if you're detained and you willfully give false information, that's grounds for arrest. If also, the officer requested the information from a person that the peace officer has good cause to believe is a witness to a criminal act, then... The onus is on you to identify. You can legally yourself. pull us over. I so, okay. Ask for an ID. Let's see your ID. What's your badge number? I'm 72. I'm you sure just I'm you didn't show me a badge, just so you know. I don't see a badge. I see it. Anybody could have that uniform on. Do you have a supervisor that you yeah, could call? I'm supervisor. I'm not sure if I have. So it. you should know, sir, that you can't pull us over. Okay. What's your badge? You're the sheriff. I'm the sheriff. And your name is David Halliburton. David Halliburton. Yes, well, sir. David. We didn't break any law. I know that. And but I understand. On the other hand, I can legally ask for an ID. Not in Texas. Yes, sir. Because you have to lawfully pull us over. I lawfully pull Joe. Okay, David. I want you to know I'm going to follow through with attorneys on this. So I want you to be Go very ahead clear. Ahead. If you if you violate her Fourth Amendment right I right now, that's a constitution. Any right. You have. Just stop alone is a violation. Why don't you just let us go over down the road? Why don't you let us continue? This this isn't the van you're looking what? for. 
legally ask questions. You can legally ask, but to stop itself is I can illegal. Legally ask for an ID. David, the stop's illegal, and you know this. Stop's illegal. It's illegal. Yes, it's illegal. Did you observe us doing something illegal? Being a white man's not illegal, sir. I can legally stop. You're not gonna like this. Believe me. Show him your ID because now he knows his, his qualified immunity is gone right now. He knows he didn't pull us over for a valid reason. Being a white van? Give him your ID. This is a violation of her constitutional rights right now. No, yes, it is, sir. Still living in Holly? Sir, she's not going to answer any questions. This is exactly what we talk about all the time, isn't it, guys? Yes. This is exactly what we discuss. A white van, not observed doing anything, and here we are. There you go, man. Are we free to go? Take off. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. That's all I'm asking. Just trying to figure out where you're going, you know. So we're going about our business lawfully and legally, well, like we always are. Fine. All right. Well, you'll be hearing from us, sir. Thank you. Be safe, please. So there you go, guys. Support our friends at News Now Abilene. Uh, beat me there. Don't meet me there. Make sure you tell them Disorderly Product News sent you. The link will be in the comment section and in the description. If you can't find it, I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, um, tell me. That's, the, that's that county, Haskell County. In Texas, that's the top cop, the sheriff, an elected position. How does he not know that in Texas you need probable cause to get someone's ID? Probable cause is the same element you need to arrest somebody. So you're going to jail anyway. Or if you're detained and you consensually give false information. That's also a crime in Texas. Now, people get stop in ID states and non-stop in ID states confused all the time there are a such thing as stop and id states but all that means is they need a lower element to get your id they need reasonable suspicion which means would a reasonable person with reasonable intelligence given the facts of the case given the facts of the investigation that it would be a reasonable conclusion to come to that a crime was committed was about to be committed or was in commission of so a stop and ID state does not mean you can just stop and ID anybody you want. It means if they get reasonable suspicion, but also they can let you go after that. It's like catch and release when you fish. That's why it's called stop and ID. Non-stop and ID states, the element they need to satisfy is probable cause. Well, that's the same element they need to satisfy to arrest you, so you're going to jail anyway. So you're going to jail anyway. So stop and ID states do not mean they could just stop you and ID you. That's false. My name is the Sorry Product News. Wishing you and yours a safe and happy rest of the weekend. Good night.